Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we are going to cover a very important numerical from the topic of pipelines, which is in computer architecture and organization. So many times you get the numericals of pipeline speed up. We have already covered the basics of pipeline and all the basic formulas which are required to find the pipeline speed up, which are here in the above suggested a playlist. Uh, so I am just uh, putting on the particular video which I made on the basics of pipeline suggested uh, pipeline speed up numericals. So you can please view that to just refresh the basics a bit. And then now today we are going to take up a recent gate 2020 question from this topic. So let's see what the question was and how we solve it in the simplest manner and the quickest way possible. So here is the question it says it basically gives you a scenario of non pipeline uh, version and a pipeline version and finally they ask you about the speed up. Okay, so I'm going to basically read the question and side by side I'm going to list the given jotted thing. I'm going to jot down the uh, given things for both the scenarios and then we're going to solve the question. So here it is given that in a non pipeline processor operating at this much 2.5 gigahertz. So what is this? This is basically the uh, clock speed. The clock speed for this non pipeline processor and then it says that it takes five clock cycles to complete an instruction. So therefore how many cycles are there per instruction it is given as five and so that is what i've written over here so i basically how i solve this is i first of all find out the execution time in case of a non-pipeline scenario and parallelly i also find the time in case of a pipeline scenario and then i finally find out the speed up okay so i have here I have written the clock frequency which is given as 2.5 gigahertz. So from this we can find the cycle time which is 1 by clock frequency 1 by 2.5 into 10 to power 9 since it is gigahertz and this comes out to be 0.4 nanoseconds. Now similarly it was given over here that there are 5 clock cycles per instruction so therefore cycles per instruction CPI is 5. Then the execution time, the formula for execution time in case of a non pipeline scenario is CPI into cycle time. Basically, number of cycles per instruction are 5 and one, uh, the time to execute one cycle is 0 0.4. So the entire execution time is 5 into 0 0.4 which is 2 nanoseconds. So nanosecond comes from here. 0 0.4 nanoseconds was the time. Okay. So similarly, we'll find out for pipeline scenario. In the case of a pipeline scenario, what is given is that overheads associated with pipeline force you to operate pipeline processor at 2 gigahertz. So over here, the clock frequency is 2 gigahertz. Then another scenario is given that in a given program, assume 30% of the memory instructions Assume that there are 30% of the memory instructions, 60% are ALU instructions and rest are branch instructions. So we are, we are basically going to draw this scenario as is. So they, these are let's say total instructions. We have 30% of the memory instructions, 60% are ALU and the remaining are 10% obviously from 100. These are branch instructions. Then they say 5% of the memory instructions cause stalls of 50 clock cycles each due to cache misses and 50% of the branch instructions cause stalls of 2 cycles each. So this we are going to also list over here that 5% of this causes stalls of 50 clock cycles each. So therefore it is basically what? It is 30 percent into 5 percent into 50 which is 0 0.75 so this is the final cycles caused over here and similarly they say 50 percent of this 10 percent so 
50% of this 10% into two cycles gives you 0.1 cycles. So then finally we compute the execution time. Uh, before that also using this clock frequency we had computed the cycle time in the same manner. Cycle time is 1 by clock frequency which was 1 by 2 into 10 to power 9 which is 0.5 nanoseconds. Now we use this entire thing over here in the formula which says execution time is 1 plus number of clock cycles into cycle time which is 1 plus 0.75 from here, 0.1 from here into 0.5. And when you solve this entire thing that comes out to be 0.925 nanoseconds. Now finally the speed up. The formula for speed up is very simple. It is execution time in case of a non-pipeline scenario upon execution time in case of a pipeline scenario which is 2 nanoseconds upon 0.925 nanoseconds which comes out to be 2.162. When you round off to two decimal places it is 2.16 which is your final answer for this numerical. So this was a very basic numerical uh, though the examiner had given some additional information like this for which it is essentially required that you just draw it uh, diagrammatically and it becomes very simple. So uh, apart from this I didn't find anything tricky in this numerical but it is very important uh, since you I mean pipelining is a very important topic from computer architecture and organization so in that manner it holds a great importance and so you should always practice these kinds of numericals. I hope this numerical or the things that we discussed in this numerical that uh, did clear some of your doubts. In case it did please press the like icon below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and if you want to see some more videos of this type, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon along with it. Um, also give your feedback uh, in the form of comments listed below. In case you have any doubts, you can also list them as the comments in the comment section below. Okay, then I'll be back with some more videos and some more knowledgeable sessions. Till then, stay tuned. Keep practicing. Thank you.